everybody. Welcome back to Star of the Day with Mrs. J, where everybody is a music star. We've been working on our rain and thunder music, and today we're going to make our rain stick. This is an instrument that's a little trickier, so I would suggest it for upper elementary students, and I would also suggest having parents' supervision. All right, so we have been working on our rain music and we learned about crescendo which is getting louder in music and decrescendo which is getting softer in music and we compared that to our thunderstorm or the stages of our thunderstorm so it started out very softly with just our blustery wind and then the rain started little sprinkles still pretty soft a little louder with our shower even louder with our sheets of rain and the loudest, of course, being our thunder. And then we decrescendoed by going back to our sheets of rain and back to our showers and back to our sprinkles and ending with our wind. Today, we're gonna focus on our thunder and we're gonna see if we can figure out how to make our own thunder tube. Here's our real thunder tube. You can see that the spring wiggles makes waves that then get transferred to our membrane or our drum head. And then those sound waves um, echo and bounce around inside of our tube and that's where we get our, our thunder sound from. Today, in order to make a thunder tube, we're gonna actually need five things. We're gonna need some type of tube. We're gonna need a balloon. I hope you have one. If you don't, maybe you can find something that is stretchy that will substitute for that. You will need a cardboard. I just grabbed a paper plate, but any kind of cardboard would work. Some type of tape or glue. I'm using tape today because I'm going fast for this video, but you could definitely take your time and use glue. And then a spring, which we will talk about later. So the first thing I need to do is I need to get my membrane or my drum head on top of my tube. Now you can see this is the first tube that I tried to use and it didn't work very well, did it? It was so difficult for me to figure out how to get my balloon onto my tube without squishing it. So what I ended up doing, I, I tried to problem solve. And so I ended up taking a piece of cardstock, which is a thick piece of paper. You could find like a tag board or a piece of lightweight cardboard. And I just rolled it up and I put it inside and cut it to, to um, the size of the cardboard so that now my cardboard is definitely stronger and we're gonna see if that works instead. The other thing I did was I cut off the end of my balloon. So now it's not so tight on this end and we're gonna see, actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna cut it off even more. Let's see if this works better when we try to get this on our tube. Oh, that is so much easier and it did not destroy my cylinder at all. Oh, that is so much better. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we need to get our, our bottom of our um, thunder tube. So we are going to trace so that we can have the exact circle that we need on the bottom. Now, when you're all done here, you can go ahead and decorate your thunder tube. I'm not gonna do this in this video, but you could go ahead and decorate it and make it beautiful because then, and then I'm gonna cut it out here, because then your uh, thunder tube project then becomes a combination of music and science and art all in one. So I'm cutting out my circle, my bottom of my tube. The next part is tricky. Please ask an adult for help. You're gonna have to poke a hole through the middle of the cardboard. And what I did was just grab a pen and I'm gonna make sure that my fingers are not on the other side of it so I don't poke myself. So have an adult do it, please. Um, I'm poking through, almost there, almost got it. Oh, there we go. All right, then, Let's talk about the spring that I found. Now, maybe you have a spring at your house that's already ready to go. I sure didn't, so I found a notebook. And I didn't care about this notebook, so I could take it apart. Now, please don't take any of your notebooks that you care about apart, that's not a good choice. But what I just did is I just twisted it until it was out. Please be very careful of these edges, they're sharp. 
The other thing you could do if you don't want to do all that twisting is you could just rip all the pages out until you just have the spring. All right, so now we're going to take our spring and we're going to thread our spring through our little hole. And that is going to go through just like that. And I'm going to twist it around just a little bit so that I have and push it together so that it's flat, just so that it won't come out. All right, and then, gosh, that just looks just like the bottom of the thunder tube, doesn't it? We are doing such a nice job. Then all I have to do is just attach it to this. Now I'm doing tape because I'm being fast for this video, but you could really take your time and do some nice, a nice glue job on there so that it will stay really well. And then decorate it up. And then you will have your thunder tube. All right. Let's see. I'm just going to go around like this. You can't see that. There we go. It's a little tricky. This is why it's great to have another pair of hands to help you with your project sometimes. All right. So I got that tape all the way around on my thunder tube. Go ahead and decorate it up. Now, let's listen to see if we get the sound that we're looking for. I sure hope so. Oh my goodness. You know what? If I put it really close to my ear, I can certainly hear that rumble of thunder that I was looking for. Here, you try. Can you hear that? Just like the real thing. So now we can go back and we can make our thunderstorm. And I'm gonna go fast because you've already seen this with our five sounds. So starting with this, our blustery wind. Next, our clucking. Next, our rain stick. Now you guys, I, I kind of wrecked my rain stick, didn't I? So I'm gonna use my real one. But if you still have yours, awesome. Next is my sheets of rain, so I need my shower. And then last, we've got our thunder tube, yay! Oh, that is so cool. All right, everybody, thanks for um, making music with me today. See you next time, bye-bye.